Hey everyone. So, um, today we're gonna take a look around uh, the fall update for Windows 10 um, for 2018 because they finally dropped the crater part of it because that never made sense. <laughs> like the first time they used it, sure, then they kept using it and they had nothing to do with creators at all, but whatever. Um, this is the version that should be coming out soonish, I, I believe. It, it was, it's supposed to come out sometime in October. So eventually one day you're going to have a Windows update, probably when when you least expect expect it to happen, and your computer's going to reboot and you're going to have um, some new features. So one of the new features um, coming that I think people could use, um, if you have an Android phone, uh, unfortunately they there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done in order for this to work on iOS, but uh, if you have an Android phone, you can use this your phone app. Now, this allows you to link your Android phone to your PC, and any um, notifications that would show up on your phone will now show up on your PC uh, as well, and you can text. Uh, through your PC. See, um, just like on the iPhone, if you're running Mac OS, um, you can use the Messenger app on Mac OS to text and uh, use iMessage with people, you know, from your desktop computer. Um, this is the equivalent for the PC. But like I said, only for, for Android users, um, you can kind of use it with um, with iPhone, but it only sends um, web links that you open in, I think, um, Edge. All five people that use Edge on purpose. One of the things that's coming in this new version of Windows is one paste uh, synchro or clipboard synchronization. So. You can copy something on one machine and then paste it on another machine. It's one of those. It's one that you're plugged into. Uh, also, uh, um, you're supposed to be able to hit Windows V, and when you do that, a little history of things that you've that have been on the clipboard are supposed to show up. Uh, for some reason, it's not working here. Um, I guess it could be just because I'm on a virtual machine and it, you know, has its own shortcuts and stuff. So the next thing that's actually kind of cool that you'll be able to do in um, this new version of Windows 10 is uh, have kind of a dark mode, not quite, not like you do in um, Mac OS Mojave, but you can um, have a little bit more of one than you did before. Currently, you can go to settings, uh, personalization, colors, and way down at the bottom, there's this little thing that says choose the default app mode, and there's light and dark. If you change it to dark, then anything that you see, like right now, this would all be dark. Um, that only really applies to like these these new you know new apps and you know this type of um, windowing I don't even know what they call this anymore it used to be Metro uh, it was something else and it just whatever they they're calling it today um, but in the new version of Windows this will also apply to the Explorer so when you're going through and looking at stuff in your documents or SkyDrive or OneDrive, whatever, whatever it's called now, um, this will all be dark, you know, black, so you won't blind yourself that way, which is nice. It's getting there. Not quite dark mode, but almost. Uh, I probably should also mention that the game bar is getting an update as well. I personally use this quite a bit um, when I'm playing games. I have the 
the uh, Xbox DVR turned on when I'm playing like a WoW or whatever. So I can easily just, you know, record the last... I have it set to the last like 10 minutes. Um, but you can easily just start recording something or quickly take a screenshot if you're in a game that maybe doesn't have a screen, you know, its own built-in screenshot. Um, it is kind of cool too that you'll be able to, in this new up version, um, play around with the system sounds versus like the actual, you know, game and everything. So that's a thing that's coming uh, if you use it. Like I said, I use this a lot. And uh, it's getting an update, which is good. A thing that's not necessarily getting an update, but it's being named something different, is currently in Windows, I think it's Windows Defender, it's being called in the current version of Windows. It's now going to be Windows Security. This is just basically where your antivirus, the built-in antivirus from Windows and um, if you didn't know that was there, it, it, it's there. <laughs> and like I said, nothing's really changing in this. It's just being called something different. Um, so this is where you go, you know, for like their firewall, virus detection, um, device security. If you have like family stuff turned on, this is where that is too. So yeah. Uh, in this new version of Windows, we will also, it will be trying to get a little bit better at um, figuring out when is a good time to restart for updates. Uh, fortunately, not everyone's like me and actually does the updates like right on Tuesday, like, you know, when they come out usually. But um, Microsoft will be using their AI to try to figure out better times to restart the computer when it's, you know, not in the middle while you're trying to play a game or while you're trying to do work. Um, it will try to figure out a good time. So if you haven't told it when, when you think it's a good time, it will try to figure out a good time on its own. Hopefully it will actually figure out a good time and it won't be like at the worst time to actually restart. Uh, I like to, in this version of Windows, they uh, have the delivery options, uh, optimization, uh, and its own separate thing over here. So this is where you tell it where you want to get your uh, updates from. So if you didn't know, uh, in Windows 10, you can get updates not just from the internet, but it can also get uh, updates from local PCs as well on your network. So if, say, there is a lot, you know, big update for Windows and um, instead of, and like one of the computers on your network already got the update and it's installed it and everything, um, then the other computers on the network can just ping that computer and grab the update from it and download it from that computer instead of having to go out onto the internet and find, you know, get the updates from Microsoft and then download it to that specific computer. It can just kind of quickly go to a computer that's, you know, right next to it or, you know, down the hall and get it. Um, I have this turned on. It, I, I don't know how much faster it is, but it's kind of nice, nice thing to have. Um, and they apparently have more um, bigger tools uh, to help you help it decide when it should, you know, try to get update from a computer locally versus going to the internet and all that stuff. So some updates have actually happened to Notepad oddly enough. Um, I got, there, that's not a lot. Uh, a lot of it's like coding type things to make it more uh, like, I guess, Notepad Plus. Um, so if you do coding and use Notepad or Linux commands and stuff, I guess you can like copy and paste in, into it and out of it into like the 
the um, Linux stuff that they have. It, like I said, not a whole lot um, has changed, um, but it's there. They're updating Notepad. That's weird, but it's happening. And like I said, not much has changed, but there are changes. So last off, um, but one of the last things, um, emojis. There are new emojis in this built-in window that wasn't in the last, so that's an interesting thing. But one of the other things I found quite interesting too is um, they're deprecating um, clean yeah, disk cleanup. Um, I don't really see what what is actually being deprecated so far. Uh, everything seems to look and act the same, except it crashing just then and not bringing it back up. Maybe that's what's being deprecated is the uh, more options thing, or, or advanced options, I forgot what it's called. Uh, I don't know, I just clicked it. Um, yeah, that could one day be going away, just like paint, though paint is still here. Regular paint is still here. For everyone who, who is worried, paint is still here. Here, here. Here's old paint. It's still here. Those are the changes coming to, some of the changes coming to this build of Windows. There's a lot of other stuff that's happening, but these were the things that I thought were the most notable. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, and until next time, bye.